Welcome to Battle Truth, in my point of view. I don't know you, so I'm not a hater. I can only give you the facts that's written on these papers. And since we have no Dylan Deford in court can care the less about your feelings, I'm the Honorable Malachi Markilius, your presiding judge, chairman, and fourth person for the One United Front. You are my witnesses and jury. You may be seated. Court is now in session. Talk about this is my Black Panther review. I just got through uh, seeing the movie Black Panther yesterday. I got mixed feelings about this movie. It was okay. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be going by what everybody was saying. When I seen it myself, it's a lot of subliminals in this music, man. This music. It's a lot of subliminals in this movie, man. That I just I catch them things. It's like when you tuned in and you locked in, things don't things don't just go over my head. I catch those things. You got two brothers representing two different kinds of brothers. For the most part, Black Panther symbolizes the ideal black man, and then his cousin, because basically that's what the movie was about. His cousin recognized the street nigga wanting the throne. Start out the cousin, start out the cousin want to speak about revenge and the death of his father, only to find out it really has nothing to do with that. He just power hungry, struck, and just won't want to be praised, want to be honored. So it's trying to say like, it's trying to say how like brothers just can't get along. Like we have a natural hatred towards one another. So you got the Black Panther who, who the king and people want to uh, get him to be different than how his father was ruling. So they want to keep they they want to keep their civilization private and separate from the outside world due to the known, due to the secret that they have that nobody know they have. When some people are saying we need to share this, and our brothers all over the world, other black people all over the world, we need to liberate them from being oppressed in a modern day age. We need to liberate them from being oppressed by their oppressors. This is what they saying. Use our weaponry, use our stuff, and start a revolution. Right. See, but it's things like that, that ignorant brothers latch on to and try to believe it, knowing you can never succeed doing that. The word of God say the wrath of men worketh not the righteousness of God. It never works. Period. Especially when you're in a country where you only make up 11% of the population. Not 50, not 30, not 40, but 11%. What you going to win? What are you going to win? What are you going to revolutionize? Taking, a, taking a, a, a fake superhero movie and trying to modernize it into up to date. That's exactly what it was. A lot of subliminal. Make us look. Check this part out, y'all. So, in this movie, the only people, <coughs> for the most part, who futuristic is the Black Panther civilization of they people. So, nobody don't know what UFOs is. We heard about them and things. So, a UFO appear in the, in the, in the hood now, the ghetto, the neighborhood, where, look, where boys and guys and them playing ball. They run up to the UFO. You know what they got them saying? We should strip this and sell the pieces. We should strip this UFO down and sell the pieces. Really? A UFO you never seen before. You run to it. See? That right there is fake. That ain't going to happen. If we in the hood and a UFO appear over us, we out of here. 
We out of there. We, we definitely ain't running up to it. <laughs> Talking about, man, let's, let's take the wheels off of it. Who you going to sell it to? The only UFO we ever saw. Who you stripping the UFO down to and sell the pieces to? See, I don't like, see, I hate subliminal shots like that, man. Make us seem like we, that's all we about. Robbing and stealing and the, the, the pictures they paint of us is just so horrible. Now, I know, man, a lot of this tainting and staining have to do with what we see going on with ourselves as a people. But I be watching that stuff. That be so horrible. So horrible. That, that, that's crazy, man. Like you seeing Young Thug and Lil Wayne, them. These dudes modeling a man purse. How do you even put them words together? A man, what is a man's purse? Fella, could you imagine saying that to yourself? Did, hey, anybody saw my man purse? What I do with my man purse? You and your girl mad at each other because. She got your man purse and you got her real purse. <laughs> you about to go. She like, babe, that's mine. I'm like, no, no, this one's mine. I'm like, no, babe, that's mine. Look, it's a Chanel. My man purse made by Chanel. <laughs> okay, open it up. You going to see my tampon now. Oh, oh, okay, here you go, babe. <laughs> These dudes wear dress outfits they literally got sweater dresses for men <laughs> and it's fitting them tight showing <laughs> showing the natural size of how they rump really is <laughs> man this is crazy man could y'all imagine that <laughs> These brothers did woo this, this stuff in a couple battles, man. <laughs> Who had on one of them? I think T Top had on one of them. <laughs> or Red had on one of the Big K battles in the AF battle. Come on, fam. This crazy, man. I hate the pictures they painting of us. And in this movie, we don't have no no real villain. The only real villain is another brother. <laughs> And they all fighting it, they all fighting in the hood against each other. All the brothers against each other. <laughs> man, it's crazy, fam. This is crazy, man. Why they do us like that? They give us a superhero. <laughs> they give us a superhero, man. He can't hardly do nothing. <laughs> He talking about he the king. He don't have a crown. <laughs> he got a mask. <laughs> this dude the king of this big country. And he only get a mask. <laughs> uh, can't fly. Nothing to show why he should be a superhero. The only thing about it. He had. Man, he got to be the weakest superhero in the world. <laughs> that was nothing super about this hero, man. They crush a flower. He drink the he drinking flower soup. <laughs> they get his man flower soup to so called empower him. He don't get bigger. <laughs> he don't get madder. He can't fly. <laughs> Man, please. They didn't gave this man a man-made catwoman suit. <laughs> oh, wow. that go, here go y'all hero. Why they do us like that? Why we why why brothers, why we don't have no real heroes? Why our heroes is Pootie Tang, <laughs> Shaft, <laughs> Dolomite, <laughs> Isaac Hayes, <laughs> Quincy Jones. Man, them ain't heroes, them brothers. <laughs> them brothers with instruments, man. They don't want to give us nothing, man. <laughs> they didn't get they had they gave us Meteor Man. Y'all remember Meteor Man? This brother was scared of heights, so he only 
he only fly. He only fly to your waist. That's as far as he get off the ground. <laughs> then they gave us blank man. This brother had on a pillowcase for a cape. <laughs> Oh man, we can't even get a good he superhero. He damn sure ain't gonna fly. <laughs> you can't get a brother to fly at all. Like that, we can't even fly. You that that's the point of being super. You can fly and be big, man. Please. <laughs> I guess because I got on this role, I'm the Black Panther too. Man, we couldn't even get a real villain in the show. They gave us an old white man with a Mega Man arm. <laughs> that wasn't even a villain in the show. Then they gave us a brother who's supposed to be a villain. The man ain't even have a full head of dreads. That man had like... That bro, this brother was a, a gangster rapper slash, slash Rastafarian. This brother had like six dreads on the top of his head. A, a, a fade cut across here talking like he hip and cool. <laughs> they then took African music, remixed it into hip hop to try to update us on like we but they get out for the mighty Thor. They get out for Iron Man and Batman. They get out for Spider-Man. <laughs> These guys got real villains. The Black Panther villain is Junebug, Tyrone, <laughs> Marcus Nell. <laughs> Man, please. <laughs> they do us bogus, man. Uh, <sighs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, man. I, I guess. I mean, that's the weakest... I don't, what Marvel movie is that better than? <laughs> Man, that's worse than everything. <laughs> Man, I would, I would rather see the Tom and Jerry movie. <laughs> what, seriously, if anybody saw that movie, what superhero movie was better than that? I mean, what superhero movie was that better than? I, I need to know. No. No. Then they got him all. Then he can't. Black Panther can't even really get mad, man. He just talking all calm like he Frederick Douglass and them up. This brother talking like he Martin Luther King or somebody like. No. We don't do that. Different people. We will not let you wander. Man, raise your voice up. You a hero. They just stabbed you, threw you in the water, took over your kingdom, put your mama out. <laughs> this brother all calm and relaxed. You not no hero. But Batman could get mad, though. They let Batman snap when he mad. The Hulk, the Hulk could get mad. <laughs> man, I'm done with them, man. It is what it is. This battle truth. It ain't my... Judgment, that's some question. It's yours. I don't know what to say. This this is my review. I mean, it was okay, but I I I don't think it was better than any superhero movie I seen. This brother flying in a spaceship. He can't even you can't even let him fly. He he this the Black Panther flying in a UFO. That's how he get around, y'all. Come on, man. Stop playing. Stop playing, man. The UFO. <laughs> Unidentified niggas. <laughs> so you see, what they trying to tell us? We aliens? What they trying to tell us? We really ain't? We really don't belong here? Black Panther, travel, his transportation is a UFO. So a UFO pull up and a, and a nigga jump out. <laughs> Man, please, this Battle Truth, it ain't my judgment, that's some questions. It's yours, man. Subscribe to uh, Battle Truth 1UF.